Welcome participants to the second video on referencing books. In this video, we will be making use of the basic aspects that we learned in the previous video, but now applying them to collective works, multiple publications by the same authors, and books published in the United States of America. Let's dive right into it and look at collective works. Firstly, what are collective works? Well, collective works are, as the name suggests, works collaboratively compiled by different authors. For example, here we have a collective work. At first, you might think that this is just an ordinary book with two editors. However, when you start to go through the book, you will see that each and every chapter has different authors or an author. Now, let's take for example chapter 5 specifically. As you can see, this chapter was not written by Angelo Polo and Barker, the editors is from the cover page of the book, but rather Charmaine Duplessis. When referencing content from this chapter, therefore, you would have to acknowledge Duplessis as the author as well as Angelo Polo and Barker as the editors. Let's look at how this should be done. The reference in the bibliography will have a full and complete reference to this work. We start off with the surname of the author, that is to say the author of the specific chapter, followed by a comma and then the author's initial and a full stop. So as you can see, the same style rules as outlined in the previous video still applies. We then follow with the year of publication as per usual and then the title of the chapter. Now, this is where collective work starts to get interesting. The title of the chapter is followed by a comma, the word in, and then the title of the book. In italics and in sentence case, followed by another comma, and then the words edited by, and then the editor's names. Please take note here that the surname now follows the initial. Then a full stop and then the place of publication and the name of the publishers as per usual. At the very end, however, followed by a colon, are the page numbers of the chapter. That is to say, the first and last pages of this chapter as it appears in the collective work. Now, in the text of your work, you only make reference just to the author of the chapter that you are citing or referencing from. Okay, let's now move on to the last technical points regarding referencing books. So, as you start to make use of seminal authors especially, you will very likely come across multiple works by the same author. It's easy enough to reference them when they actually have different years of publication. We would just, in the bibliography, have the references chronologically and in text, the different sources would be distinguished by their years. The problem, however, comes in when the same author publishes multiple works in the same year. Let's say, for example, that all of these books were published in 2005. It would create a lot of confusion for your readers as they would not be able to trace a specific reference in the text of your work to a specific source in the bibliography as there's more than one DeVito from 2005. So here's where the academic rule actually comes in. The academic rule, and it's applicable to any publication, not just books, is in the text of your work, the first source of the same author and date get an A. It is inserted right after the date of publication. Your reference to the second source has a B and your third a C and so on and so forth. In your bibliography, you order the full reference alphabetically according to the title and not per the A, B or C you included. I hope this makes sense. Let's move on to the last technical aspect mentioned when referencing books. In the United States of America, there are sometimes more than one town with the same name, but in a different state. It is for this reason that it's academic standard practice to include both the town name as well as the state name in abbreviated form in reference of a source printed 
in the United States of America. For example, if a book was printed in Boston, Massachusetts, we would reference it in this way, with a comma separating the town or the city's name to that of its state. Here is a quick list of abbreviations for you, although a quick Google search will return much of the same. This concludes our videos on referencing books. The next video tutorial will focus on referencing journal articles.